Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to use similarity based or k nearest neighbor learning algorithm to classify the spam examples. These are the examples given to us. There are five emails are there and associated label is also given to us. Out of that uh, five emails, uh, first three are spam emails and remaining two are non-spam emails in this case. Given this particular data, uh, we need to apply the nearest neighbor model with the Euclidean distance. To classify the new example, uh, the new example is machine learning for free into one of the class. Either it is a spam example or non-spam examples with k is equal to 1 and k equals to 3 here. Similarly, uh, we need to apply the weighted k nearest neighbor algorithm, k nearest neighbor model with the Manhattan distance and cosine similarity to classify the same example into one of the class here. So, uh, we will try to apply each of these algorithm and uh, try to classify the new example into one of the class. Before that, uh, first we need to convert this uh, data into something called as a bag of words because uh, the given data is uh, in textual form. We cannot apply any of the algorithm on the textual data. So, first we will try to convert uh, this uh, textual data into numerical data that is nothing but bag of words in this case. In this case, uh, first we need to identify the unique words. If you look at uh, this uh, data given to us, uh, we have uh, different unique words like money, free, for, gambling and so on. Once you write down all these uh, unique words uh, over here, next we need to count how many number of times each of these words are appearing in each of these documents and then we need to write it over here. If you look at this uh, money, money is appearing three times in the first document. That's the reason I have written zero, 3 here. Uh, remaining all words are not at all appearing the first document I have written 0 over here. Similarly, for the second document, the money is appearing one time, free is appearing two time here and uh, for is appearing one time, gambling is appearing one time and fun is appearing one time and remaining two uh, words are not appearing here. Similarly, we have to do it for the remaining documents here. Now, once you create this uh, bag of words that is converting this uh, textual data into numerical data. Next, we will try to apply the different algorithm and classify the new example into one of the class. Again, the new example is in a textual form. We need to convert this uh, new example into, uh, can say that, uh, a numerical one. For that reason, again, uh, we need to count each of these unique words are appearing how many number of times in this document and then we need to write it down here. And if you look at here, uh, money is not appearing. That's the reason it is zero here. Free is appearing one time, so it is one here. Four is appearing one time, and so on. Now, once you convert this uh, a textual data into a numerical data, or you can say that a bag of words. Next is to apply this algorithm, that is a nearest neighbor algorithm. Uh, in this case, what they have told is we need to use the Euclidean distance uh, to ca calculate the nearest neighbors, and then we need to classify the new example here. Again, the question comes in front of us: How to calculate the Euclidean distance? Let's assume that we have uh, two points, P1 is equal to X1, Y1 and P2 is equal to X2, Y2. The distance between these two is always given by square root of X2 minus X1 bracket square plus Y2 minus Y1 bracket square. In this case, uh, there are two features are there that is X and Y here. Now, if you look at this particular data, we have multiple number of features like money, free, for and so on. The same equation will be extended and we will calculate this equilibrium distance here. Now, I will try to show you how to calculate the equilibrium distance for the from the new example to the first example here. That is from sixth example, that's a new example, to the first example here. Now, to calculate the equilibrium distance, first we calculate this uh, square values and then we will take the summation and then we will calculate the square root value here. Now, square of these values is nothing but what? 0 minus 3 bracket square. That is nothing but what? 3 in this case. This uh, 1 minus 0 that is 1 minus 0 is 1 1 square is equal to 1 here similarly we will calculate all these values once you calculate the square values what we need to do we need to take the sum here so we will take the sum of all these things it will become 9 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 which is equal to uh, 13 in this case square root of 13 we need to do take because the finally we need to take the square root here once you take the square root you will get 3.6056 here so this is the Euclidean distance from the new example that is 6, the first example here. Similarly, we need to calculate the distance from 6th example to uh, example number 2, example number 3, 4 and 5 and then we will get the Euclidean distances over here. 
Now, once you calculate these Euclidean distances from new example to the given documents, uh, now we need to uh, find the nearest neighbors here. In the first case, the value of k given to us is uh, 1 here, that is nothing but we need to calculate the uh, one nearest neighbor. That is nothing but the uh, neighbor which is having the minimum distance. If you look at this uh, Euclidean distance, uh, the document number 5 is having the minimum distance which is equal to 1 here. The meaning of this one is fifth document is the most nearest one and this example is of type spam here. Uh, it is not a spam because it is given as false here. The meaning of this one is the new example that is the sixth example will be classified as uh, false that is nothing but not a spam example. Similarly, if the value of k is equal to 3, we need to calculate or we need to find the three nearest neighbors. Of course, a fifth one is the most nearest one. Next nearest one is this one, that is the third example, because this is uh, having a next minimum distance here. Similarly, the second example is uh, the next nearest one. So, uh, fifth one is the most nearest one, next nearest one is third one, next nearest one is second example. And if you look at this particular target here, out of these three, one example is having a false, a remaining two are having true here. Majority in this case is true. The meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as true. The meaning is the new example is a spam example in this case. So, this is how we can apply the nearest neighbor or similarity based learning algorithm to classify the new example using Euclidean distance. Now, coming back to the next one, uh, we need to use a weighted k nearest neighbor algorithm here. In this case, uh, we need to use the Euclidean distance only, but rather than calculate, uh, considering the Euclidean distance, we need to calculate the weighted uh, Euclidean distance here. Now, the question is uh, how to calculate the weighted distance. Again, we have already calculated Euclidean distance. We need to calculate the weighted distance. That is nothing but 1 divided by distance square here. We have calculated the distance, calculate 1 divided by distance square here. For the first example, that is uh, the distance from 6 to 1 is uh, 3.6056. Its weighted distance is 1 divided by 3.6056 bracket square, which is equal to 0 0.0769 in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate all other weighted distances. Once you calculate the weighted distances, we need to calculate the three nearest neighbors here because the value of k is 3 in this case. Now, if you look at these values, this is the most nearest one, this is the second uh, nearest one, that is 0 0.1, and this 0 0.2 is uh, 0. Uh, 1667. This is the third nearest neighbor in this case. Now, once you calculate these uh, three nearest neighbors, we need to see what is the class here. So, in this case, uh, the class of first nearest neighbor is true, second nearest neighbor is uh, false, third nearest neighbor is true. Out of uh, these three, true is having the majority. The meaning of this one is the new example will be classified as true in this case. The new example is a spammy example here. In this video, I have discussed how can we classify the new example into one of the class using the nearest neighbor model with Euclidean distance as well as weighted KNN algorithm. In the next video, I will discuss the remaining two that is how to classify the new example into one of the class using Manhattan distance and cosine similarity. Link for that video will be placed in the description below. I hope the concept of K nearest neighbor algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.